Hello and welcome to Man On with me, Dan. And this is another episode of Simulating a Player's Career where I fast forward to the end of this season and then from there skip every three seasons until a player retires and just see how they do in terms of attributes and goals and assists. Today's player has been doing really well recently in real life and I thought it would be a cool idea to see what he's like on Football Manager and see where his career takes him. Today is Tammy Abraham. So let's not muck about, let's get straight to it. I'm going to skip now to the end of the season. Catch in a second. So we are at the end of the season of the first season on this game. And Tammy Abraham is 24 years old. If you haven't seen this, his profile, this is what it looks like. And apologies, I've just realised that I didn't disable the player attribute at masking. So again, sorry for that. Let's get down to it. Let's see how he did this season. So in his first season with Roma, he played 36 games, only 13 goals, one assist with three player of the match awards with a 7.09 rating. As you can see, he's doing far better in real life than he is on this game, but hopefully this improves later on in his career. So here are the full reports of Tammy Abraham's first season. He's played 15 games in the Euro Cup, I think that's the Conference League if I recall, and, and scored four goals there, two assists with a 7.29 rating, and also played two games in the Italian Cup. As you'd know, he's always going to be a striker, so this season he's played 48 games as a striker with 17 goals, three assists, and a 7.13 rating. He had one game as international, no goals, no assists, but a 6.6 .6 rating, and he played once as a right winger with a 7.4 rating. So his milestones for this season, he was runner-up in the Conference Cup and he was named Roma's seasonal best 11. That was literally all his milestones for this season. So there we have it for this season. He's had a solid season, but I reckon he can do better. His contract is until 2026 with Roma. They value him at 22 million to 65 million and he earns 110,000 per week. Will he move? We'll find out. I don't think it's likely he will move, but let's see if he can improve himself at Roma. So now I'm going to skip three years to 2025 and let's see how he's done. Catch in a second, guys. Okay, I was wrong. It turns out he won't stay at Roma. He is now at Arsenal. He is 27 years old. He's earning 140000 per week until 2029. Arsenal volume at 53 million to 158 million. So let's see how he's done in the last three seasons. Okay, I was not expecting this. Not only has he moved to Arsenal, he went to PSG. He left Roma for PSG for 41.5 million. And in that season, he only played eight games, three goals, one assist with a 7.5 rating. Then from there, the following season, he went to Arsenal for 48.5 million. Played 10 games, 2 goals, 1 assist, 0 play of the matches, but and a 6.91 rating. So was that in just one season? It had to be, right? He must have left in January for a profit. But anyway, his second season at Arsenal, he played 34 games this time. Nearly the full season. Scored 13 goals like he did in Roma, 0 assists, and 1 play of the match with a 6.94 rating. So... A lot better than his first time at Arsenal. And then this most recent season, he's played 32 games, 12 goals, 2 assists and 2 play of the match awards with 7.09 rating. So he's on par with last season, but getting more play of the match awards and more assists and a better rating too. So he is improving. So let's look at the stats for the latest season. As we know about the Premier League, but he played 4 games in the FA Cup. Three games in the Carabao Cup. So he played four games in the FA Cup with two goals, zero assists and a 7.20 rating. And then he's played a couple of international games as well off the bench, but not done anything worthwhile there. So overall this season, he's been playing as a striker for Arsenal 
He's played 40 games, 15 goals, 2 assists with a 7.9 rating. He's played once as a right winger and once as a left winger. Not much has changed in the last three years in terms of notable milestones. His only milestone for PSG was he signed for them. But in 2024, he joined Arsenal and he was inducted into Arsenal's overall best 11. He was named in England's best 11 too. And then in 2025, this most recent season, he's been in their best 11 again. Then the awards in the last couple of seasons, he's just won the best 11s or team of the weeks. Nothing too major. So this is what we got so far with Tammy Abraham. I feel like he could be doing a lot better. And I reckon he'd be doing a lot better in real life than he's done currently here. But anyway, let's see how he goes. We're going to go to 2028 now. Another three years. Will there be another two clubs involved? Who knows? But we're going to find out very shortly. We are in June 2028 and we've got a 30-year-old Tammy Abraham looking at his attributes I haven't seen much difference because now he's in the peak of his career obviously I haven't got the masking involved on his attributes apologies for that again but yeah I can't see much difference in the last five seasons if I'm incorrect please let me know in the comments and if I've forgotten something please let me know in the comments after doing so many of these videos now it's hard to remember what I show you guys luckily he hasn't left Arsenal so he stayed in Arsenal for another three seasons and in 2025 Arsenal played 33 games, 14 goals, 4 assists and 2 player of the matches with a 7.20 rating. He's improved from the last couple of seasons at Arsenal and judging by the other two that that is his best season. Because in 2026 he played 30 games, 11 goals, 1 assist, no player of the matches and a 6.99 rating. He slipped back down a bit. And then in his most recent season, he's got even worse. He's only played 21 games, 8 goals, no assists or play of the matches. But he's got a 7.01 rating. So to go in more detail on this season, let's have a look at the reports. Yikes, I didn't think it was that bad. I know he played that many games in the Premier League, but I thought they would be starting. He only started 4 games and 17 were off the bench. No wonder he only scored 8 goals. And he played 6 games in the Champions League. Arsenal are back in the Champions League, that's nice. All six of them were from the bench with a 6.72 rating. He played one game in the FA Cup and one game in the Carabao Cup. But that one game in the FA Cup, however, he scored two goals with a 7.3 rating. It seems like his role might have changed in this squad a little bit. He's only played 18 games as a striker with 11 goals there. Two as an attack in mid. That's the first time we've seen this on this game one oh, twice as a left winger and once as a left back how i have no idea what made him play there so let's check back at his milestones he's won a trophy everyone not all of these player simulations are going to win trophies but he has in fact he's won two in 2026 he won the europa league and then he was in best 11 for both england and arsenal in 2027 just the best 11s for both club and country and then in 2028, Arsenal have won the Champions League. They beat Man City in the Champions League in this most recent season. That is incredible. I'm not going to go through the awards, but yeah, he's won a couple of Team of the Weeks and Best 11s. So even though I said he's played fairly poor in the last couple of seasons, he's won trophies. He's won two European trophies, so his career is not that shabby after all. His contract is until 2030, which I will be skipping another three years, so we'll see if he stays at Arsenal. Will he? Who knows? Well, we will right now. We are in the summer of 2031, and Tammy Abraham is now at another London club. He has now joined West Ham. Still looking at his attributes especially on that graph, it looks no different than it has for the last five, six years. So I can't really tell. I think his pace and strength have gone down a little bit, but not by much. It's still pretty good attributes for a 33-year-old. But let's check his history over the last three years. So in 2029 with Arsenal, he played 26 games, three goals, zero assists, and one play of the match, but only a 6.93 rating. Then in 2030 with Arsenal, he played even less games at this point. 
He played 15 games, 4 goals, 0 assists, 0 player of the matches with a 6.94 rating. So very similar to the previous season, but with a lot less games. And looking at the stats below, down here, it says that he played 11 off the bench and only 4 starts in the Premier League. So it looks like he definitely was on his way out at Arsenal. And in this most recent season with West Ham for 5.5 million, he's played 11 games and scored 3 goals, 1 assist and 2 play of the matches with a 7.17 rating. When you look down here, he's started 10 games. It's a, he, I think he made a wise move moving to West Ham at this point of his career. So checking his other stats, he played 2 games in the FA Cup and 1 game in the Carabao Cup. In the FA Cup, he got a 7 rating, so quite average for two games. I'm not going to go through the stats below on this section. So like the rest of his career, he's mostly been playing as a striker for West Ham. 25 games with 10 goals and 1 assist, but he did play twice as a left winger. And the only milestone he's had in the last couple of years is that he's been bought from West Ham for 5.5 million, which could go up to 6.75 million. So on his contract, he's earning 120000 at West Ham and he's an important player. It expires in two years' time in 2033 and with him being 33 years old, I don't know how much longer he will be playing. This could be his last two years as a professional footballer. I'm going to skip now ahead two years to see what happens to our guy, Tammy Abraham. So looking at a 35-year-old Tammy Abraham... He is still at West Ham, but he's currently on loan at Almeria. He's got four days left on his contract, and I can only imagine this might be his last. After looking here, the staff attributes, so yeah, this is most likely his last season as a footballer. Just switch into the graph, and it looks still the same. A bit of his vision, his speed, and physicals have gone down slightly, but overall, he's still a good player. He could go further down the rankings to League One maybe, but I think his days are done, personally. You don't see many players on this game go further down the ranks. So let's look at his history in the last three years. So in 2031, he played 10 games, two goals, one assist and one play of the match with a 7.23 rating. His last season with West Ham in 2032, he only played five games and two of them were starts. He got one goal, no assists or player matches with a 6.96. So he made the right decision on this later season to go on loan. He's played 16 games, 6 goals, 2 assists and one player of the match with a 7.06 rating. 14 of those games were starts and 2 off the bench. And quickly show you here, he's literally just played La Liga. Nowhere else, no other cups. However, he has been playing in a lot of positions this season. So he's played 14 as a striker, 4 at right wing, 1 as centre-back, 1 as attacking mid and 1 as a left wing. So he's been around everywhere. The centre-back one got me. That's incredible. There were no more notable milestones, guys. Literally the only one he's had was a couple of... It was a season ago with West Ham as a team of the week, that is literally it. So, like I said, it looks like it's the end because, as you see here, staff attributes, if I quickly click on it, he hopes to be a manager. But looking at his attributes here as a coach and managerial, they're not great. I think this is the end of the road for Tammy Abraham. It's been a good career, about average career. He's been great in Europe, but he's not won any league titles. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to simulate a certain player's career, pop a comment below with your suggestions. Remember to hit the like button, share it with a friend, and click on the sub too if you'd like to see more of this content. It would be hugely grateful. Catch you later.